Hi Capi, welcome to another reading here for you. This is for Capricorns. It's a general reading. Please do take only the message that you resonate with. Don't force anything. Um, basically it's for February, but the energies may be more prolonged. Events may happen not in a chronological order. And also, if you resonate with the reading whenever you stumble upon this uh, video, then hopefully it helps. Uh, I The Eight of Cups jumped from this deck of cards. I was getting ready for you and the two of swords was constantly at the bottom of the deck as well. Um, some of you here could have um, disconnected uh, from another energy because of lies or uncertainty of what's going on actually. Um, the seven of swords showed a lot and now with this two of swords again at the bottom of the deck, I feel like for some of you, the reason why you chose or a situation ended or it got like, you could have been also like ghosted is because of uncertainty, is because of lies, is because maybe you felt in your gut that this is not good, you know? Let's see. You have a six of cups at the bottom of the deck and that could talk about you know maybe um, a connection between you and someone or the connection between you and your children i feel for some of you here like you had a split a fall down with your children I see I see here you standing firm in your decision here to leave a situation. I see again leaving um, here. Strength, six of swords, four of swords, seven of pentacles tells me that it took a lot of strength from you to leave here. Uh, for some of you, this is like physical movement, not just energetically wise to connect here from another energy. It took very much. Uh, from you to do so and after that some of you could have been absolutely exhausted uh, for some of you this talks about coming out of a very intense uh, situation and you are absolutely exhausted mentally physically you are exhausted and you could have taken the time in the recent past to basically recover uh, for some of you this talks about sick leave uh, this talks about um you know when you because i don't want to use specific words because i feel like it's a sensitive uh situation here but you know when you've been under stress for so long but this is not this is like army style stress this is like um next level stress this is not you've been to an exam and that's it no this is intense like a shivers intense stress for days and months stress and fear and anxiety and walking on on your toes feeling like you're walking on eggshells for long it's an intense situation that it was prolonged for way too long which led to burnout i'm not getting a specific like situation here but i get a situation in which it was a connection in which it was emotional attachment but not necessarily in a negative way because you know you can have this healthy attachment you know what i mean but i feel like this was very very difficult to leave behind with strength and six of swords very difficult and you could have took your time to heal in the recent past i got for you for a few readings you playing hard to get i feel like for some of you that was like a scream a last call scream you know it's, um in in uh, relationships um when a woman usually will threat a partner that i'm gonna leave i'm going to leave she's actually telling you that i wish for a change i know it kind of makes no sense 
but it's asking for help it's asking for you know things to be done differently um it takes a lot in a situation like that in which the partner doesn't have to be a, a woman necessarily can be a man but this is more typical or more uh, common behavior in women men would tr just leave but in, in individuals that find it very challenging to leave a situation because of strong emotional attachment because of strong you know intense intense um it makes it more challenging to leave and it takes a lot from that person to leave you know because the bond, the connection was very, very strong. Whoever chose to leave this situation, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck is like, you know, whoever chose to leave the situation, and I find it very interesting, I don't know, just this, um, this could be something that the person you could have dealt with used to do and he could have done that when he would lie. So if you resonate with every now and then when you would talk with that person, it's when they would lie. Because I saw the Seven of Swords and again I've done it. Um, the Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups, this tells me someone here chose to leave. And when they leave, uh, they left either in a family like they join the family or they feel like they belong i'm not going to talk about someone because i feel like for some of you this is you are the one that are left like someone disconnected from you and in other cases i feel like some capricorns here disconnected from someone like you chose to leave here whoever chose to leave doesn't matter they left a place of strong anxiety they left a, pl they left a place of a lot of judgment, a lot of pointing fingers, a lot of not being able to be yourself in a situation. Nine of Swords, you could, like, someone here felt like, I can't be myself. I just can't. Whatever I do is wrong and chose to leave. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger path, at the wider path. Look at, you know, far future, like, heck, I'm here now, but I still have these many years to go by. I could still have eight more years to go by, you know, just an example. But it's like, that's a long time. That's a long time. How do I want to leave it? Do I want to leave it like this? No. Some of you could have also got the anxiety of leaving and could have, you know, now in the current, think about all that that you created together, all that that you grew together. Uh, this could talk about your spouse more than anything, not just, you know, this could talk about a family member as well for which you carry very much. Um, also, I do see some of you here investing very much in your health right now. Um, I see a strong need more than anything for emotional and groundedness, emotional care and groundedness, like, get your feet back on the on the ground you know uh seven of swords some of you are finding challenging to even talk about this i don't feel like you it's a situation that it's easily to explain to others what actually happened and you, this um i opened the decade of swords and for some of you this uh, king of cups talks about a therapist if you haven't considered it maybe that is something if you resonate with what i'm saying so far the tower that's like, I don't know. Uh, I, I find it very interesting because so far in your reading... Oh, sorry, Kathy. You all right, friend? <laughs> you all right? Oh, my God. Some of... I didn't feel the need to pick up any, any additional cards. Six of Swords. And I'm almost in 10 minutes. Like any clarifiers. And remember I started the reading saying that this eight of cups would jump from the deck and that could be a current right now, yeah. Yeah, no, you're like, you know what, no, I'm going to go. For some of you, ten, this tens, um, ten of cups, ten of pentacles, they do talk about family. They do, do talk about your network. Um, nine of wands, it came in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse. Ten of cups, knight of cups, for the eight of cups is going for 
your happiness is going for what you truly deserve uh here nine of wands is like i am done fighting i am done fighting and it brings the nine of wands in reverse brings to surface the eight of wands which is your strong desire to move forward uh, maybe even to talk about it even though you find it challenging you know you have to to invest in this this is something that you know you have to invest um I'm not picking up on a two, three or kind of situation, no. But for some of you, this talks about you considering strongly now here also the kind of partner you want to have and the kind of partner you want with, with whom you want to build something, how that person could look like. But more than anything, I see here you investing in your health, investing in your happiness. I feel like some of you um, here, Emperor, yeah, are, um, are understanding, maybe not understanding, that's not the word I want, I want to say, are um, are creating for themselves the environment in which they have also the opportunities to grow. I see a strong desire for new. I see a strong desire here for trying also new. And it could be that in the energy or the situation or the connection you were in the past, it wasn't actually allowing you to do so. It was kind of stagnant. It was kind of same, same, but different, you know, but not in a good way. It's like same, same situation, but with different people, same, same combinations that bring the same outcome. It's like kind of boring, you know? I, but I, whatever this is for you, Cappy, I see here, very, very um, challenging to navigate it in the past. And it took a lot for me to do it. So I only can congratulate you for doing, to leaving a situation that wasn't good for you. Oh, for some of you, this is rehab. And it came rehab in my mind and the ten of points came. A lot of stuff are going to come to surface, especially emotionally wise. A lot of stuff are going to come to surface and you're going to be challenged to understand the bigger picture here. It's also going to, um, I see here more than anything, a moment or a, an instant in which you are going to burst because of how heavy something is. And some of you here could feel like anger is bad, is bad. To show anger is bad. And some of you could have suppressed for a really long time how you really truly feel. And you showed only the big happy smile. And when things would go wrong or they would, you know, overcome your bo your boundaries, overcome your um, feelings, you know, like cross the line, you would keep on smiling. You would not say something. You didn't quite actually dealt with that. You know what I mean? And now I see in the future a moment in which is more than anything required from all that negativity to be dealt with because after that, you're going to have here... Uh, more than just under higher understanding of how that you holding within actually kept you away from having here a really good connection or connections overall but it's going to take you from a place in which you could have felt like you don't belong like you're you don't connect here you you are always the um, the reason that uh, you could have you know have poor self-esteem and blamed you for everything and because of like people pleaser kind of energy here to be honest but in the way that why people pleasers are people pleasers because they are afraid of being rejected they are afraid of being alone they are afraid of um you know b uh, hurting the other person right many reasons why a person is a people pleaser 
but i see here that once you understand that hey if someone loves me they will accept me and love me also upset also sad also like not always happy and joyful you know life is as such we are humans we experience all kinds of emotions and i see that actually being very freeing for you here cappy i see that being actually very um healing here for you and it's gonna take you and i saw now on the camera 15 15 it's gonna take you to a next level you're at the you're at the edge of entering a new uh phase in your life where you are opening yourself more and more emotionally to all kinds of uh, experiences that maybe they could have been simply forbidden to you you know what i mean and i wanted to say for the recent past uh abusive relationship and i didn't say it because i didn't have more than that but for some of you is that and it in an abusive relationship you can get very much disconnected from your own emotions and this is a thought that I got here for you and I couldn't understand why before the reading started. Now I understand why music is so important. Doesn't matter if you dance or not. Doesn't matter if you listen to music or not. But I feel like music could help you regulate your emotional state in the way that you will understand your emotions and you can express emotions. Trans dance, for instance, is very good for releasing negativity. Ecstatic dance is very good for connecting with your emotions and with your energy overall and, you know, expressing that through movement. And I feel like music, music can help you very much to heal. Because I don't see you wanting necessarily to talk about stuff. So maybe expressing your emotions and what you've been through, through art, being that painting or dancing or poetry or writing or, you know, could help you very much. Four of Cups. This Four of Cups here in this in this deck of cards takes me to. Hey, I have the situation in my mind, and this is three different perspectives, three different ways that it could have affected me. I could have dealt with it. What have I learned? Three things that I learned. Uh, three things that I'm grateful for. For three things on how I can deal in the future with a similar situation. Three. Th the things that I can do today for myself. And again, I saw 17, 17 on the camera. Three things that I can do for myself today. Three things that I can, you know, do for somebody else, you know, as a process of healing. Let's take an advice for you. You know what? I'm going to take an advice from you from the different deck because there are way much more cards than in the other deck so it seems like for you at least the next 30 and maybe that's why i said in february maybe for even longer because healing is not linear right um some of you are, are healing from grief you know um and understand grief itself even though i'm not seeing any tree of sword but it could be numbness currently it could be like i don't know how i feel and numbness in itself, it's a feeling too. To feel numb, it's a feeling. But maybe identifying the feeling, it's a bit more challenging. Or the feelings, because it's also a combo. Eight of Swords, Temperance, Six of Pentacles, and the knight of wands and with this i feel accept your thoughts accept the process that you're going through accept the situation in itself and give yourself the time you need with this temperance here to heal invest in that that brings balance in your life bring the balance like how much you give outside and how much do you give to yourself and take the action take the action that is actually needed from you to actually get to the healing you know, do the investments, maybe even do a budgeting here, maybe even, you know, connecting with the people that can actually help you, uh, you know, in a situation that is very sensitive and is very soft, you know. Only by taking action you can free yourself and get to healing and invest that into yourself, you know, invest the time, invest the resources, and you're going to heal. Just give yourself the time 
that you actually personally need. But yeah, Cappy, this is what I have for you for now. Um, if you resonate with the reading and you want a private one, on the description of my channel, you can find my contact information on how to reach out and get your private reading. Otherwise, I'm going to end your reading here and I'm looking forward to see you on the next one. Bye.